Real quick, I want to give Texas Speed Culture a shout out. They make automotive t-shirts, opposing takeover culture, and preserving authenticity. Be sure to check them out. There's a link in the description below in this video. What's going on, everybody? So today we're back with Will. Hey. He has a Supra that I recorded on, this, on the channel. Badass Supra, that was a lot of fun. This is a thousand wheel, okay. setting two. All right. Today, we're doing something a little different. He talked to me about doing this about a year and a half ago, and I was down, and today's the day. We're going to pick up a Nissan Skyline R34 GTR that he imported. It's fresh off the boat, and it's here, ready to go. We're going to pick it up and check it out, and then he's gonna drive it home. Yep, we're gonna take it right home. <laughs> got temporary <laughs> registration, I got five gallons of fuel in the back, so we're just gonna raw dog it home and hopefully we don't break down. <laughs> How long ago did this quest start with this car? So yeah, that's a good question. I mean, obviously I've always liked these cars for many years and obviously there's a 25 year rule for those that don't know, you have to wait until the car is exactly 25 years uh, or older to import them legally with some some exceptions out there for really low numbers uh, production cars. So this one became federally legal as of this year, 2024, was made in 99. So my quest for it started about three and a half years ago. I decided, you know what, I want to get one before the prices get too crazy. And uh, they have gone up quite a bit since. Um, so I bought this car, it will be a little over 1100 days, three, three years and one month ago, I bought this car and I've been storing it in Japan ever since. Just waiting for it to become legal. Yeah, just <laughs> waiting for it to become federally legal. So I've been storing it indoors with a shop uh, called Garage Defend. They're pretty well known. They're like a top rank or uh, Space Auto, some of these other sort of like big name shops. I'd say they're probably up in the top three there. Um, but yeah, since the car has been in storage, I've been having some work done on it as well to get it uh, updated and kind of ready uh, to bring here. It's cheaper to do much of the stuff in Japan, obviously where the parts are, yeah. uh, than it is to bring it here and then import parts. So um, today's the day we get to go get it. Hell yeah, man. I'm excited. I know you're excited and I can't even imagine the stress it's been. <laughs> It's very stressful. The, the worst is the first month and the last month. Everything in between, you just push it out of your mind. Yeah. Once you pay for it, it's kind of like the worst day of your life afterwards because you're like, okay, we just paid for it, and now you wait. And it's a, really, it's a really daunting kind of feeling to kind of do that and then be like, okay, I guess we'll see it in three years. Um, and then the last month is obviously the hardest because it's coming in. It literally landed in the port two days ago and it just got cleared by uh, the port authority today to be picked up. It's being shipped via container. So yeah. it's still sealed in the container for us to pull out today. So excited for it. So yeah, I got a little hectic at the beginning of the month, I know, of October, because that's when the Port of Houston went on strike. And then I was like, oh shit, what's gonna happen now? Because we knew this car was coming in. Yep. Luckily that didn't last. And that was only like, what, a week or so? Yeah, it was even? like a week of uncertainty. <laughs> and we didn't know because, you know, at that point, it's like, oh, crap. They literally just put this on the boat in Nagoya, uh, Japan, to be brought here. And that's when everything started happening with the port strike. So yeah. luckily, that resolved itself at least until January. So we're getting the call. Yeah. So anyway, guys, we're going to go up here to... I believe it's, is it Trace or Trace? I think it's Tress Garage. Tress, okay. Um, yeah, it's a shop that um, has been known for importing some of these cars, working on RV26 related cars, uh, that sort of thing. I've actually not been there myself, but reached out to the shop. They've actually had some other GTRs come through. I'd say go follow them on uh, Instagram. They've yep. got some nice cars that come through, including mine today. Yeah, so we're gonna go check this car out. We're gonna pick it up, we're gonna drive it back, and then we'll show you know, walk around the car and check it out. But it's gonna be a fun day, man. I'm excited and I know you sure as hell are. Yeah, <laughs> so. I, my heart's been beating so hard all day that I'm just waiting for this. So. so let's just go check it out.
Sí. Moment of truth, Will. Yeah. <laughs> Is it? It's just these two, right? Or do we do all four of them? Both these together. <laughs> nice. So badass. Now we'll drive home. We'll have to see that. <laughs> right? <laughs> Hopefully there's keys in it. If not, I got a spare. Okay. So. <laughs> this is so cool, man. I bought this thing three years ago, and I've never seen it. It's first, first time seeing the car, yeah. Yeah, in person. It's crazy. It's like surreal. <laughs> Oh, oh god dang. <laughs> yeah, it was still strapped down. <laughs> I got a jump pack. I think yeah, I got one too. I got one on the fourth Yeah, we'll Yeah. I bet you did that just in case. Uh... I'm scared to touch it. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. This it looks brand new. <laughs> it smells good too. Yeah, it does. I wasn't sure how it would smell after being on a boat. <laughs> And it is about to pour down with rain, of course. So I apologize if there's like wind noise in here <laughs> on the video. It's dark. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm looking at. Well, it looks like an RB26. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God dang, it's so clean, man. Yeah. Did they repaint that, the valve they, cover? They repainted the valve covers. Yeah. Um, we did new uh, reservoirs here. Um, Carbon everywhere. Yeah. The, this is the Garage Defend carbon panel. I wanted that. It's like the only non-Nismo part I have in this car is this cooling panel. I wanted that. Yeah. Because uh, Garage Defend is something to get this car, so. God, this is so clean, man. Yeah. <laughs> the hood's actually heavier than I thought it would be, being a carbon fiber hood, but it's a legit Nismo one. You can see the little emblem in there. See the emblem? Okay, you see that? Where is it at? Um, it? I don't want to. Right there. Yeah, you got it. In okay, the yeah, there it is. Yeah. Dang. 
Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, the rain these, guards? Yeah, these are a factory option. Oh, wow. Yeah. A lot of Japanese cars have them. A little Nismo pillar garnish. Yeah. Carbon? Yeah. Dang. Have you ever have you ever driven an R34 or been in nope. one? Really? Oh yeah. wow. This is first for me, first for a lot of things going on right now. So I've driven no, I haven't driven an R34. I've driven 33s and 32s, but I've yeah. been in an R34 GTR. Yeah. Ridden in one. No, I've never been in one. We're gonna do, we need to give it a few minutes. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So the battery is dead, it's been sitting for a month and a half. This looks like a nice one. Oh, so it's 70,000 kilometers. Okay. So it's about 40,000 miles or so? 40, 42,000 miles or something. Roughly, yeah. Yeah, 40, maybe. Yeah. If you're afraid of leaving the window down. What's that? Yeah, yeah. You, when you don't, it, it gets uh, humid. From being hot and cold and the container for so long, really? it starts to get a little bit of mold. Oh, oh that, that makes sense. That's, that's good. Down, yeah. That's it. It's quiet. What's that? It's quiet. <laughs> when I was... It's got like a blitz map back on it or something. I'll probably have to change that out, but. Date night car. <laughs> Date night car. <laughs> Take the wife of this one instead of a Supra. Hell yeah, man. This is like your, your car to go get ice cream in, man. With my kids, yeah. <laughs> With your kids. <laughs> All the time. I imagine this one probably has more room in the back than the Supra. It actually is pretty roomy. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not terrible. <laughs> Suck it in, Will. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Don't stall it. I won't try. <laughs> Don't stall it. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna back up so I don't get run over. <laughs> you gonna move this one over? This one okay? All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I told you, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I she guarantee get you, you come to the car show with me. The only people that are going to be approaching us are other dudes, though. <laughs> <laughs> women, it looks sharp, right? Just the front of it is it's, 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 it's killer, right? Yeah, yeah it's so clean, man. That's so he was hauling this thing here on his truck in the container. He had no idea what he was hauling. And now he's just blowing away. <laughs> and it's getting its uh, first car wash. Houston's finest car wash right Yeah, now. Houston car wash. Oh, there's my spear battery. This thing's cool. It's like a little anti-gravity yeah, <laughs> battery. But it's actually a GTR R34 battery from Japan. Dang, that's cool. Oh, it seems like gangster lean. Yeah, yeah that's for sure. <laughs> I gotta go back. I, I'm sitting in the dash. Damn, nice stereo system. Yeah, check the AC. Oh, okay, cool. Well, that's she said. Yeah, whatever. I like what she said. <laughs> right. oh, that AC. Oh, it slaps. That's good. I just don't know what to do. <laughs> you don't it's know like, what to do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get around this truck. Can you? Uh, we could do because I hazard it. Try to make it over that uh, that jump. Oh yeah, that'd be fun. You, you brave? I mean, <laughs> it's not my car. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> not my car, not my problem. Dude, this is so fucking weird. Am I gonna do it right? Oh no, I did it right. I didn't do intensive things. Hell yeah. Alright, now let's practice using your blinker. <laughs> <That's a> blinker. <laughs> uh, there. There you go. Alright. So weird, dude. It's been a long time since I've driven right here, right? <laughs> I mean, you don't really lose it, but you definitely it get... It just takes you a little bit. Yeah, you definitely get, um... I don't know, just whatever. And Rusty. Yeah, and then you're going to be kind of in the lane. You're going to be drifting over in the lane a little bit when you drive. <laughs> There's so many characteristics to learn, too. Side oh yeah. So yeah, the hood's painted, carbon fiber, but it's painted. Yeah, but it's they clear, left, clear they left the, on the underside. Yeah, it's yeah. clear coated on the bottom. Yeah. Bam. It's cool. Freshly painted valve cover. Yeah, we tried to restore as much. I mean, obviously, every single bolt hasn't been restored, but we wanted to get it as clean as possible. And I mean, dang. The, is this an original Bayside Blue or? or yeah, it's was, all original. Okay. You can see on the tag back there at TV2. Is, uh, the, that's the original tag okay. for it, um, and that's the original code for the base side blue. So it, it's it's a pretty stock GTR. It just has what you said, like the the uh, uh, the intercooler and the down the and the exhaust um, cap back. That's pretty much it, performance wise. Right. Yeah. Right. I didn't really want to do anything more. I just wanted to kind of keep it as stock as possible, but give it that nice look and a little bit of sound. Right. And it came with the exhaust, so I didn't change that. Yeah. But the intercooler, these intercoolers, that's another one. They're no longer producing those, so now those are skyrocketing in value. I think the last one I saw Dang. was like five grand or something crazy. You added the strut bar? Yeah, the strut bar is titanium strut bar. Yeah. Um, so it's, there's no bar. So cool. But my favorite part of these things is the individual throttle bodies. Oh, yeah. That's exactly. so cool, man. Yeah, super cool. Individual throttle bodies. But even like just like the condition of the plastics under here looks good. You know, oh, yeah. Man, like, the strut towers, I mean, they look great. Brake booster's clean. Yeah. All the lines are clean. Yeah. I wonder how this does in the rain. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. We'll find out. <laughs> yeah, this thing's extremely clean. Like this will be good for you too, because like, oh, yeah. not a lot of unboxings, and it's cool to see it come off the trailer. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that was, that was pretty neat. And just to see your face. Yeah. <laughs> So we're at Trey's. This is in Houston. As you can tell, big skyline shop. Hey, look, this one's for sale. There you go. There's your plug. I don't know anything about it. I'm just seeing it now. R33 GTR. White. I like a white R33 GTR. I like these a lot. Dotson truck, that's cool. Got a Sylvia back there. MR2, it's pretty cool. I like an old Bronco, it's pretty neat. Got some uh, R34s up on the lift, just getting some work. Got Will over there, still drooling over his car. <laughs> <laughs> I like this white one. This one's clean. Yeah, I've always liked the 33, especially white. I don't know, something about white on 33s. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's so good. So what's up with this the sedan? So um, that's Is that an Alta? Yeah. You said yeah, because that's what he was talking about a minute ago. Yeah, so the, that's yeah, so this, cool. Yeah, this is actually like considered a GTR, the four-door GTR, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. So and not many people really know about them. Yeah. Like they're all-wheel drive. I've heard of it, yeah. I've heard of them, but I've never seen one. I know 
I know they're super rare, yeah. aren't they? Like extremely Very rare. rare yeah. Less than 500 made. Less than 500 made? Wow. Right. So it's it's just, it's, it's it, it, R34, it's uh, R33 GTR with an extra door. Yeah. So it, it is actually all wheel drive, RB26. That's, dang, that's cool. Wow. That's pretty neat. I've never seen one of these. I mean, I've seen like the base four doors, but not. It's, it's rad. I mean, exactly. It's rad. Oh, yeah. Very. It's unique. It's very it has, unique. Like, the, different, the rear end, the tail lights are different. Yeah. Wow, this is cool. Damn, is this all titanium? Yeah. Nice. So, yeah, it's what the exhaust is that? Uh, Muse. All Muse. So it's a Muse cat back, and then basically from here forward, that's all custom. Nice. Yeah. yeah, this is cool. Oh, is it a side dump? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. R35 brake conversion. Damn, really? Yeah. This was a, uh, wow. this car was totally restored. Was this a garage Ishida thing? Or is no, it restored? Oh, restored. oh you, you restored, okay. Wow. Is this is this your car? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, everything's either new or replaced. Right. Or, uh, or refurbished. But uh, yeah, I built the motor. You know, we did a little, a little different. Um, it's a. It's still a two six, or is it a bigger? It's a two six. Okay. Two th two six. We're shooting around a thousand. Nice. nice. What did you like the least amount for? Damn! Like, look at this. The trust. That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> I love seeing these old like JDM brands. So yeah. So check out check out Trey's. He'll be at GTR Fest in uh, Ennis here on the uh, weekend of the fifteenth. Whatever that is, I think it's another week, week or so. I plan on going on Saturday. Yeah. yeah. FIC injectors, nice. These are fat, fat up all the pipe, uh, pipe yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. A little different. Um, so I guess this is titanium too, huh? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's nice on yeah, titanium yeah. right here. Damn, all everything. titanium, everything. Yeah. yeah. Wow, downpipe, the entire exhaust. So we're on the way back now. Wheels in front of me driving the R34. I'm driving his truck. Check this out. I have never seen, if I can zoom out, I have never seen a manual four door newer uh, style Tacoma. It's pretty cool. It's a 2017 four wheel drive, off road package, whatever they call it. But it's manual. It's pretty neat. Anyways, I thought that was cool. Oh, okay, that bump, okay. Yeah, the Super's not here. It's getting uh, some paint corrections and body work done. It's at uh, my buddy Ali's shop, Refined. Shout out to him. But shout out to uh, Trey's Automotive, letting us look at the shop and taking the car in. And yeah. so and overall- thank you, thank you to Frank, uh, Frank at High Rev uh, Motorsports out of Florida, uh, helping me with the uh, import side of things with customs and the paperwork and stuff, so. Yeah. This has been three years now. Three almost. years in the making. I will say it drives like really well. Like for a 99 car, it drives like a car that was maybe built 10 years ago. It feels just really like tight. There's no squeaks, there's no rattles. It just drives perfect. Like it exceeds my expectations. Just driving at home, even in stop and go traffic, as much as that can suck, yeah. um, it's easy to drive. The clutch is nice, the shifts are nice. It's quiet, but when you get on it, you can hear it. It's just a great balance of uh, performance and kind of that that nice um, visceral feeling. You get right. Six speed turbocharged, you know, car. I appreciate you taking me along and inviting me out to see this. I, I think it was really neat to see one coming out of the container and being shipped Rest in. I've never off the boat. This <laughs> off the boat. On Saturday, we're talking Monday today. You know, so yeah, it's that's insane. But yeah, it took about what was it about a month to get here? I think I saw two months at sea. Two months at sea, okay. Yeah, it had to go from Japan to stop in China, and then it came through Panama and up here. Yep. So overall, it's been just shy of two months, maybe by like three or four days. Look for this car in upcoming content sometime soon. You know, whenever he's ready, he, he's got to clean it up a little bit and get to you get used to driving it. But yeah. It'll be back on the channel sometime soon. We'll we'll play around. But guys, I appreciate everyone tuning in. And thank you again, Will, for inviting me out to witness this. It was really neat. 
But we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.